Hello and welcome back to part three of the uh, UE4 Epic Game Jam. Today we'll be going over the progress I've made. <coughs> and today's been a really good day. We've got the major loop in like I, I wanted to do today. But now all we've got left to do is sort of polish up the mechanics um, because everything is in there. So uh, the enemies can attack us, we can attack them. The, the uh, Not all of the enemies' abilities are set up yet and not... All of the players' abilities are fully working. Like, I'm going to have a shield and stuff. I think I've actually got that already. Let me just see. Yeah, I've got a shield. Um, I've, already, I've already created this uh, shield, but I haven't got it fully working yet. But the idea is, is that... Let's just get that to be the right size. So it covers the entire thing. The idea is when you have shield charge, you can hit a button, and, but the shield doesn't last for a long time, so you've got a sort of time putting up your shield so that you take the hit on your shield rather than your hull, uh, and that's going to be sort of the, one of the main gameplay things, so you're always constantly trying to gauge when you're going to get shot, so it's just going to be uh, fiddling around with that, so that'll be the first thing that, or I might do that later on this evening, but I think the idea is I'm going to work on the... Um, I'm going to work on the uh, the ship, right, which I will show you. So <laughs> I got a basic shape from a warship, from an actual warship, and then I'm trying to make it look sci-fi. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a very good 3D modeler. I'm just learning it myself. But the idea is that they've got a city on this ship. So, you know, I'm trying to make it look like that. But um, I want to bulk out this back end as well so that it's sort of got, like, loads of big engines at the back. But... I needed something to work with today because I needed a destructible mesh. And the meshes I was using previously, them Star Destroyer models, they were just far too many polys. So this one is not as many polys. It still you know, gets quite detailed around here, and I'm definitely going to add more detail to it. But now I've got this, I can... Um, I don't... I, I've already... So I'll show you what I've done. It's basically I have uh, brought in... A uh, static mesh. So uh, let me show you the content folder. So I brought the uh, the ship in as a static mesh, and then I converted it to a destructible mesh. So now, when so all the enemy ships at the moment are player ships, just for testing. But what happens is, is when they get destroyed, um, we spawn in the destructible mesh, and inside the destructible mesh. I've made it a blueprint, so let me just show you that as well. So uh, it's getting quite complicated now. I've got a blueprints folder somewhere here. Uh, and inside the destructible uh, mesh, I've got a radial force that explodes as soon as it comes into the uh, you know event begin play. So I fire the impulse at begin play. And then... Um, it destroys the ship as soon as it uh, spawns in. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so let's hit play. So now I've also done some stuff with the turret. So now you activate the turret by just hitting two on the keyboard and it'll lock onto the nearest enemy and start shooting. Right now I don't have any sort of like resources in, so you can fire all your weapons infinitely. But they all do different damages now. So for instance, this broadside, if I can line this up, it should kill me one hit, so... Oh, no, not one hit. And it didn't do all the explosions. or it, But that second hit definitely took him down. <coughs> and you'll see I've spawned in a, a destructible mesh. And that uh, does the damage. And then my other one will lock on. Now we're going to get... Oh, see, we're taking damage ourselves now. So we've got to do something about Let's send a couple over there. Ooh, line up a broadside for him. And another... Ooh. And he's down. And then we're back on with this guy. And let's just let him destroy us. So we see the full loop in action. Now it's when we get in range of his uh, red sphere here that he'll start firing at us. So we could extend the range of that if we find that they're not firing enough. But they're also going to have like a tracking laser on us. And there we go. The full loop. There are more things that I want to add. Um, and there's also a few things I'd like to do. For instance, I'd like to create my own sky sphere because I don't think this one is 
fits the low poly uh, vibe that I'm going to have with this ship. Um, now, obviously, these enemy ships are going to look different to this one. It's not going to have the same sort of design, so uh, they have a distinctness to them. And also, I'm hoping to have a, a couple, at least two, uh, different enemy ships. But again, that's all dependent on time. But because the main systems are in, and really we've only got to put limiters on those systems. So, for instance, I've got to put a charge on the <coughs> turret. But once it's run out of charge, you know, it'll have to recharge. Uh, same with the homing missiles and the um, the broadside. Um, I want the homing missiles to have a, a timer on them. And I'm not 100% sure about the broadside, maybe sort of a, a reload cycle. Um but again, that's just a timer. Um, obviously, I need to get the shields functioning properly, but that should be really easy, you know, just if they collide. I'll give it a um, collision. And if it collides with it, then, you know, just do damage to the shields. It's, it's dead. No, in fact, because the shield, the idea with the shields is that you sort of, you put them on and they only last for like one or two seconds. So you've got to put them on just as you're about to get hit. Uh, so... I don't know exactly how that's going to work. I don't even know if that's going to make it in, but that was just one of the, the initial ideas I had. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm already quite far in. I mean, what are we here? Um, we got till Friday, and we're Monday. So we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So for another four days to uh, polish this. I would, I'll say three days because, you know, we don't really want to be working too much on the last day, just getting it exported and packaged and all that kind of stuff. Um so, yeah, so tonight's work is going to be just working on the ship and adding more and more detail to it. Uh, but it was just important to get this base mesh there for the destructible. Uh, so what I might do when I've built this out is just do another really simple destructible version. But we'll see. I'll probably just stick with this because it doesn't matter. It explodes on the instant anyway, so you never really get to see it as a whole thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if there's anything else. I need... Oh, wrong, wrong button. Let's get back to Unreal. I guess we'll just have another look at it in action. Yeah, I hate the back of the ship, so that's one of the things that I want to. But I needed to set the camera up uh, a little differently from how I was doing it before, so that when we zoom out, it stays in the center. I'm also going to increase the zoom out a little bit, I think. Oh, didn't, didn't realize that happened when you go underneath like that. Okay, that needs looking at. Um, I slowed this ship right down. So that's another thing that I really want to spend, you know, half a day looking at is improving the controls, maybe giving your ship a little bit of a boost. <clears throat> that's definitely something I'm going to do, in fact. Uh, also, the range on all the weapons is far too long. I think it's a million units at the moment, just to make sure that I was getting hit uh, things. Oh, and also, let me just see if I can turn up the quality. This might crash. So before I do this, I'll just hit save. Because uh, this might crash us. But I'll turn it up to epic. And then we'll see if we can... Yeah, that's better. That's better. It looks a lot better for the video. Um, and then, in fact, can we play this uh, as a standalone? And hit play. Is that going to work for us? What is my computer like now? Should load up a launch window. What is it? This one, though. Oh, it's this one that opens up a new window. Here we go. So if I tab now, tab out, and then full, and then tab back in. I don't know how that works. Escape. Oh, come on now. How did that... Right. Try again. Oh, I can just go full screen. All right. So we can have a proper look now. <clears throat> so. Let's get going. Let's lock on with our target laser. He'll start firing at the nearest target. So let's see if we can hit this guy with a broadside. Miss. We got him a little bit, but we'll finish him off with uh, with that. Nice. 
So yeah, you won't be able to do this in the uh, final game. <laughs> it's just too overpowered, obviously. Uh, and also, the missile is going to be small, like theirs are. The AI is really simple, and they stop as soon as they get to the point where. Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna. We're taking too much damage from these ships. Look how they stutter a little bit as well. I'm going to have to deal with that and see what we can do there. Maybe just making us faster is going to help that. Um, but, yeah, you'll see them turrets on the top as well or on the top of this. That's actually going to rotate and, and all that kind of stuff. All right. So, yeah, um, really good progress today. Um, just going to be polishing off the mechanics tomorrow and tonight just uh, working on this. <laughs> so that we have a more detailed ship. And then it'll be making another one at some point. So tomorrow is Tuesday. Uh, we'll probably end up doing that Wednesday or Thursday. And then Friday, you know, is obviously the day where we've got to package things up and send it off. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.